welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you how to make this quick easy prep free chakalaka recipe if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements and items that i used will be listed in the description box below so we are starting off with the main ingredient and that is the nature's garden hawaiian stir fry i strongly recommend that you use this stir fry because it has less um water inside the bag which which means that you're getting value for your money and you're definitely going to be having more vegetables than water but you do get other brands that have the same um, stir fry mixture so I'm adding that into my pan which had heated oil and I'm going to season it with some garlic powder and then next I'm going to be adding paprika paprika is just to give it that nice vibrant red color and then lastly I'm going to be adding medium curry powder from Robertson's and then we're just going to um, give it a quick mix just to evenly distribute everything inside the pan and we're basically going to stir fry this for about so you'll continue to stir fry your vegetables until they are fully fried up and then once you're done with that we're going to be adding the hot sauce so you can add whichever hot sauce you have if you don't want your chakalaka to be spicy and hot you can omit this step i am using the cayenne pepper hot sauce from spa guys i am plugging you right now this is the best hot sauce you need to try it out i always have an extra bottle on hand i am telling you try it you won't regret okay so once you've added your hot sauce you're gonna give everything a mix again and just let it um simmer away for about five minutes Okay, so after simmering for five minutes, we're going to be adding our baked beans and I stand by cool baked beans um, They're the easiest to use they don't fall apart um, But you can use whichever baked beans you have on hand I'm gonna mix that up and distribute it inside our pan and then we're going to allow this to simmer for 15 minutes until you see the sauce um, Faltering to the top and you'll see that as you continue to mix it um the sauce is starting to thicken and that is what we want you want to make sure that you cook your sauce until it is sufficiently reduced and that will take about 15 to 20 minutes and um, on high heat that is if you're using a non-stick pan but if you're not using a non-stick pan i strongly recommend that you use it on low medium heat just to avoid burning your chakalaka and this is what it is looking like right now so i am happy with that um there's no need to um, add any sugar or anything like that the recipe is complete just as it is now i want to tell you guys chakalaka tastes better when it's stored overnight or for many hours so you can try this recipe cook it the night before and have it the next day i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me comment in the comment section like this video and share it with your family i'll see you guys next time bye